This is the sound of the American wilderness, the eerie bugling of a bull elk at twilight, piercing the immense stillness of the Great Plains. This landscape saw key chapters of the American story, the bloody struggles between Native Americans and U.S. troops, the hardships endured by pioneering homesteaders. But almost all of the native prairie was plowed up decades ago or grazed over by domestic cattle. Wild grasslands are among the most endangered type of ecosystem on Earth. Now, here in northeastern Montana, an effort to recreate wild lands on a vast scale is underway. Sean Garrity is the president of the American Prairie Foundation. What we start off with is we've got what we believe is a very unique opportunity to create something that will be not only important to the U.S., but be important at a global level much like some of the big reserves are in Africa and Asia and other places, where people will cherish it for a long, long time. Funded mostly by wealthy donors, the foundation has been buying up ranches and leasing public lands associated with them. It's established a buffalo herd and lets other native wildlife regenerate, including the elegant pronghorn antelope and the inquisitive prairie dog. Foundation field manager Bryce Christensen displays a map showing how much land the foundation wants to return to nature. Bryce, give us a, a sense of where we are and, and, and how big the project is here. Okay, we're right in here about 50 miles south of Malta and our, our properties extend about 60 miles east to west right now. The goal, a roughly 12,000 square kilometer reserve that would be open to the public for wildlife viewing, camping, and managed hunting and fishing. The American Prairie Foundation started in 2002 and our first property was purchased in 2004 and we've had 12 purchases since then. So really at this point it's going quicker than we expected. Uh, and probably partially related to economics. Mm. The counties of northeastern Montana have been steadily losing population for decades. The average farmer is aging and many have no one to carry on in their footsteps. The foundation argues that its wildlife reserve would create a world-class tourist destination, revitalizing the local economy. But not every rancher out here wants to let the buffalo roam, at least not on their land. They see the Prairie Foundation's plan as a threat to their way of life. When, when new people come in... Rancher we, Mike Arrow is helping organize no, local no, opposition. No. If, if. Well, right now we're a production oriented society. We produce things for the world, safe food. Uh, we produce hardworking kids who know the value of work. And then it would be changed to what we call a service industry type thing, where we have to cater to people who come in and either want to buy trinkets or see landscapes and stuff like that. And, uh, pioneers aren't like that. Ranchers and preservationists both love this harsh and beautiful land. Its future may depend on which U.S. society values more. The rugged people whose forebears conquered the plains or the unspoiled prairie where wild creatures can roam free. Rob Reynolds, Al Jazeera, Malta, Montana.